Hello everybody and welcome back to Clean Valley Farms. It's been a little while since I did an update on the, uh, the sod bunker garden that we made. So I thought today we'd show you that really, really quickly. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. So underneath all of these pumpkin plants and those corn that are growing there is the sod bunker garden. Probably about a week ago, we ended up taking the peas and the beans out of the middle and filling it up with more mulch so we can retain a little bit more moisture. And that seems to be working really, really well. As you can see, there are flowers all over the squash here. And I just noticed earlier today the beginning of our first corn cob. So the bunker seems to be uh, winning as far as that goes. I didn't see any corn cobs starting in the patch yet. But these pumpkins are definitely spreading right out. The fairy tale off to the side, and then we've got the sugar pie pumpkins here. Got a few things that look like this one here. Could be a pumpkin start, or it could be a, a dead pumpkin start. I don't know if the flowers need to be attached to that or not. Not very knowledgeable in the world of pumpkins. But, I know there sure are quite a few of them here. So over here we've got the uh, the giant pumpkins kind of spread out attacking the tomatoes in front of them here but lots of flowers on here. I'm very hopeful that we'll get uh, a couple of giant pumpkins out of this. Just a second, I'll take you around the back and show you what's happened there. So here we are at the end here with the giant pumpkin. As you can see these leaves are just massive. Absolutely massive. And down there, what looks to be a pumpkin start. So this morning I found a flower from right in there. Because it's my understanding those will be mostly flowers. And I brought it all the way out here. Rubbed it up against the middle for the pumpkin. And uh, hopefully that will now be a, a fertilized pumpkin. I don't know. I left the... Uh, the male flower on top there so if any bees come through maybe they can do their magic too but it would be really really nice to see that going so yeah there you can see what's left of the the sod wall that's still visible we've got a couple of the vines that are running through the corn into the back now because we frankly just ran out of room in the front but there you go super quick look at this bunker garden turns out it's a good idea at least for the corn and the squash a little more soil when I had built it would have made a big difference. But it's definitely, it's doing well. And it's the first one to have a corn on the cob. Alright everybody, so like I said, this is just a quick update on the bunker garden because I haven't really uh, done much of an update on it lately. And it's uh, darn bright. I forgot my shades, so I don't want to be staring at the camera without them. I will see you guys later. Thank you for joining me here today on Clean Valley Farms and don't forget to check out the JT Bear channel on Sunday for the full-on garden review. Take care everybody.